Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add Gorilla Locomotion and a player model. So you want to open up your project. Obviously, I already have it opened. If you don't know why we already have all this, go last, watch the past two videos. Next video, I'm going to show you how to do a shop system. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to open up your browser, click the link in the description. Alright, so once you click the link in the description, it will lead you here. Click Gorilla Locomotion, then click Download. You're going to click Files, drag this into Unity on your Assets folder. Click all and click import and wait for it to be done all right once that's done it'll pop up this and just click reload okay so once you reload then you will not have a map so you have to redo your map okay so once you've done that hit reload obviously and then you're going to be brought be brought here resources gorilla prefab and dragon gorilla rig put it at the top and then scale it to the size you want i'll just keep it the default size right click it prefab unpack completely and you have these all right so then you can click file and save and you have these imported now okay so next is how to add a player model what you're going to do is you're going to click the second link in the description okay so that will bring you here click open in unity then just go back to your unity and it will drag this you click import okay then you're going to click all and then you're going to click import okay so after that this will open do not close this you can close package manager but not this i'm going to put it there so i know i don't close it and then you're going to go to console and clear the warnings because they're just warnings. They don't matter. And then you're going to go back to the, the you're going to go in the third link in the description. Then just click open in unit again, then click import again. Click all and then click import. Then you're going to click the, the fourth. It should just say photon website. Go to dashboard, click create new app, make select photon SDK and then click pun application name. I'll name it tutorial. Then you're going to click it again. Go here, go voice name it the same thing and then click create then you're gonna go back here and do app ID and then just paste and just paste it into that thing then you're gonna go to the next link in the description and it's gonna be the photon VR pr package and then click on it and it will download click on this and then just drag it into your assets folder and then click all and click import then once it's done you're gonna go resources photon vr prefabs and you're gonna drag all three of these in and then you're gonna grab all of them and bring them to the top go ahead you don't have to do this but go ahead and click file save if you want to and then you're gonna go to photon manager put this to what you're in i'm in us so i'm gonna do usa or just us put us and then in here you're going to put your app id then in here you're going to go back to you're going to go back to here find the voice id and you're going to copy and paste it in there too then here you're going to go here you're going to drag main camera into here left hand controller into here and right hand controller into here set this to 10 and then I have connect on awake and join room on connect on at all times. I do that. You don't have to though. Go ahead, file, save. Okay, so now what you're going to do is obviously you're going to see this stuff. You don't want to show it. Just click this and it turns off gizmos. And uh, don't save again because you've already saved multiple times. Go to assets, go to resources, photon VR, and player. Then click import TMP essentials if this shows up. Go ahead and click it and then do import TMP examples and extras if this pops up after. And after that, you can go ahead and close out of this. Okay, so now I'm assuming, again, I'm assuming that you already have a player model. What you're going to do is you're going to go into anything. I'd go into assets. You can make a separate folder for it. I'll go ahead and do it. Folder and name it player model and then put your player model in this folder. Okay, so once you have it done and imported, it has to be an FBX file. And I'm assuming you have your textures. I just have these. This is uh, the model from my game. I'm just going to use it for the tutorial. Scale it down, and you're going to right-click your model, prefab, and unpack it completely. I'll just keep it named model. And then just scale this down. Now see this line? This is the line of sight. So... I'm going to set this like right, I'm going to set it there and that's plenty good. Hold control and click all these, right click and click delete and then you're just going to boom, boom, boom. Then I'm going to create material, 
face, turn down the smoothness, put it there, boom, okay, and then you, I have my player model, but it's not hooked up, so we're gonna take your model and drag it under head, and then you're gonna bring it down, and then you're gonna go to your assets, and then you're gonna go into the link in the description and join my server and download the scripts area and find the player model and then click the script and then go to your folder downloads find it it will be called fast ik fabric and import it and you could just keep it in here but i'm gonna drag it in my scripts folder and open it up okay so once that's done you're gonna go to your model armature body and you're gonna open up these to the hand and on both of these import fast ik fabric and you're gonna go right hand first and we're gonna do pull we're gonna do upper arm not lower arm and then target you drag in right hand and then do the same thing to the left pull upper arm l you're gonna go to armature body all this until you get to the hands and you're gonna take them you're gonna take them both rotate them up and then one by one forward forward and actually you can click here and do xr organ but it won't let you import it until this is deleted so remove this xr organ and then just do camera floor offset and drag in main camera tracking floor then you go file save and play test again if it's in the ground like this you can go and move it up a bit, but and if it's broken, just check everything. But right now, as you can see, it is working beautifully. Arm bends like this. So is the right hand, as you can see. Now you can grab, now you can go quick testing. Grab these two spheres and turn off mesh render. Click file, save. And then you should be good. If you are still having problems, then that is... Just figure out what you did wrong. Rewatch this video if you need to. And then just, just make sure everything is working. Cosmetics, purchasing, and non-purchasing. See you in the next video. Goodbye.